uh, ma'am tell us about your journey uh, and the idea behind setting up the one stop solution uh, which was for the automotive ser- servicing needs so am i audible yes yes yeah so basically uh, we are quick fix auto has been into automobile industry since around uh, 10 years now and we've been doing automobiles for quite long not completely not like a one stop solution but through various paths and while we've been into realized that uh, customers are very fed up of going to different places for different products and things like that and we live in a space where everything is available on the phone at one stop so we go to any kind of e-commerce websites every products available everything is available automobiles is probably amongst the only industry that is not where that is not in a space where we can get everything at one place so we wanted to solve that whole problem where we could bring comfort to the customers and we could also bring all the b2b all my mechanics my technicians who are located at very various places with different kind of expertise in under one roof you know so the idea was to connect these two people and make it simpler for both the parties okay uh what were the challenges that which you faced in the initial phase of setup So see because automobiles is a very unorganized market anybody who is living around over here in Mumbai and all will know there are lot of areas grey markets where you get parts and things like that and we have to procure things and stuff so for a customer to reach to these places is difficult and for the guys who are into this to understand the professional way of working to understand how to put things professionally in front of customers it's very difficult to train them i think that was one of the biggest challenges that we had to train our technicians and our mechanics to behave a certain way with customers to present themselves in a certain way because they were now representing fix fix auto and not themselves as an individual shopkeeper or something right so that was one very big challenge secondly we wanted the customers to understand that automobiles mein har jagah ghumna is not necessary we are trustable and we are doing it very well and we understand your problem so that trust factor for both parties was a little complicated but i think with time we have cracked the whole thing and the customers have started gaining confidence and i think the mechanics and the technicians know they've started realizing the importance of getting into a corporate setup being professional that has been happening now so uh, you are uh, helping out the mechanics uh, to, uh, with the setup right yeah, yeah. not setup so as in they will be rep- they will work under our brand they are working under our brand representing quick fix auto so it can't be just if you all are aware and if you all go to the automobile market you all will see that nahi hoga madam aisa hoga that the tone which they talk with they do not give out the right information uh, there are a lot of issues with how they deal with customers they there are certain frauds as well that are happening in terms of punctures and everything so all that we are trying to sort and bring them to a level where they think of a wider perspective not short term gains but a gain from a larger perspective yeah uh, if you can give us a financial growth uh, snapshot for the financial year uh, 2022 and uh, how has uh, the year 2023 started for you so basically 23 we want we want to financial year 23 is anyways march to aa gaya hai so we are really at the end of the financial year our goal has been to empanel as many technicians as we can and that we've been doing very successfully we've been empaneled like around 5000 mechanics and technicians and we've been doing very well the response from them has been very well we are we are already getting good response from the customers as well now our next goal right now is to get our app live quick fix auto is coming up with an app which will be launching hopefully next month we are getting an app live and then it will be like on the fingertips you know for both for the dealers for our mechanics and for the customers it will be on the fingertips they will be able to connect with us they will be able to place orders and do business so that's our main goal for the coming year that we will be getting our app live and probably making things more tech savvy and less uh, complicated that way and uh, talking about the financial growth uh, for 20 to 23 if you can uh, give us a snapshot about that in financial the- goals we don't really look at financial goals as such at the moment see the industry is very huge theek hai but because we are creating a tech ma- we are creating a market right now so financial goals is not something that we are even worried of but we have got a very very good response we've got uh, I wouldn't say we are doing very great in terms of uh, say figures or something, but I think 
the overall excitement that is generated in the market has been fab we are doing a business in we have already reached a certain amount in crores and stuff where we are getting very good response my ticket size has been increasing regularly so yeah it's it's fair enough i think uh would you be able to tell us more about uh, uh your automobile services which you offer and uh, do you also provide the same for electric vehicles do you also provide it for electric vehicles yeah we we are doing evs as well evs obviously is the new thing in the market currently so yes. evs yes we are doing evs yes we provide all kinds of services so the whole logic here is that right that we have to keep ourselves updated with what is available in the market and right now ev is booming so yes we provide ev services ev vehicle services we provide all kinds of automobile services that is you can think of whatever something as small as a jump start of your car it's not starting and your battery is low we'll do that we'll do puncture repair at whatever location you all are it doesn't have to be a certain you don't have to tow your vehicle or anything of those sorts your the customer is in the middle of the roads on the highways at their location at their home office we do all kinds of services from puncture repair to the best of services like denting painting filming ppf you know everything everything tires batteries all services that we can think of servicing of cars everything for evs as well we are well updated and well upgraded and we are doing servicing for ev as well uh, and things like that in fact we have tie ups with a few companies who have been giving out their ev vehicles to us for trials and to see if it is you know acceptable okay. in the market or not and things like that so yeah we are doing everything under one that 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 whole logic doesn't change at all yeah you also have a mobile van uh, which actually provides the servicing so if you can tell us about its setup uh, i mean which vehicles uh, do you uh, no uh, use for those setup correct so we have a mobile tire van so for any customer to change tires they have to go to the tire shop and to change tires means 2 3 hours of the whole thing is gone and that to on a weekend when you really don't want to get into this mess and we want to rest at home so what we've done is we've done a mobile tire shop there is a rft tire changer in that mobile shop run flat tire changer most mobile shops or it is very difficult to get that kind of a technology in a mobile van shop so we've done that we change all kinds of tires at customer location it could be a merc or it could be whatever car it could be anything from the smallest to the biggest and we will do it at customer location so that's the biggest plus at the moment and this tire changing includes everything it includes the fitting of the tire it includes the balancing of the tire everything so you car your car will be ready to drive after the change is it only limited to the tires or you provide other services as well other services as well we are working on an aggregator model okay currently okay. for tires or for anything we are working on an aggregator model so if you are stuck up for something for any kind of automobile services at any location in mumbai navi mumbai and thane our aggregator it might not be quick fix auto themselves but our partner our dealer technician mechanic will from that location will come to your location and help you out okay. so it's all services uh, are you all only uh, uh, thinking of four wheelers or uh, you are looking out for uh, other uh, Uh, i mean segments as well currently currently our our focus is on four wheelers cars to be specific is what the focus is maybe if we get into the market and we go through the product market fit journey we might look at other options but currently it is only cars okay. uh how prompt would you say your services are or how are they better than the others in the market see our service is not the best best advantage is when a customer is looking out for any kind of services supposedly ac servicing okay they're looking something as simple as ac servicing now the customer is not aware who is the expert so what they going to do they going to go to the nearest mechanic unko car de denge aur bolenge hamara ac service kar do as simple as that whereas when it comes to us we get the expert for it and we get them to do your work theek hai so that is one very big difference it is for us it is very easy to locate who the expert is and to come and do things for you as, as compared to the customer because we know who is doing it actually perfectly and who is not so that is one plus that we do we are we are better off secondly we are trying to create an ecosystem where the whole gray market that is prevalent right now no gray market for everything in terms of automobiles we want to discontinue the gray market we may want to make it official we want them to come to a certain level well this whole gray market disappears and the whole automobile industry becomes organized and that will only happen when these technicians are given a certain level of work 
and the customers are associated to the right person uh what are the milestones which you have achieved so far and any new developments which you see in the near future so we have done a lot of impanelments uh, through for all mechanics and things like that uh, we have a lot of people taking interest in terms of corporate tie ups with us so we are already servicing a lot of people from various corporates for their vehicles and everything and uh, in terms of my recent developments that will be coming we will be getting our app live uh that is going to be our biggest thing and we are also bringing up in fact we've already started emis for various automobile parts and services so if you want to change your tire we will be giving you emi facility for the same you want to do any kind of servicing for automobiles there will be emi facility available for the same so that is one new thing that we are bringing at the moment yeah and are you facing any supply chain challenges when it comes to availability of spare parts or etc See, because we are into the industry for very long, no, we kind of know where to procure parts and things from. Mm-hmm. But then that's the problem, right? People are not used to doing things professionally, so there could be a delay sometimes for us, or they wouldn't understand, you know, that it is something mm-hmm. that is urgent. So, but that's a challenge of for every business, I'm guessing, and you kind of come over and mm-hmm. manage the whole thing with time. So yes. Uh, uh, how are you strengthening your aftermarket services or uh, other service or offerings? as in after market services uh, how are you spending those so see it's not like spending or anything right we are doing certain services it could be however we say uh, whatever we say like right? we already have tie ups with oems as well it's not like we do not have tie ups with them we have tie ups with oems we every oems do not have everything under one roof any which ways they have to procure mm-hmm. it from outside and they have to do things from outside so we help them do all of that from our roof, right so it is so the parties that we have under us is a lot of party the mechanics the oems everything even the companies for that matter will be registering with us we are already tying up with a lot of companies as well so the aftermarket will also work and the corporate companies will also work both will work together sing uh, uh uh i would like to know about your uh, growth and challenge areas for the near future see my growth is i want to capture complete my journey in mumbai and abhi mumbai and thane and then move to mm-hmm. tier 2 tier 3 cities or maybe other metro cities based on the response that we get okay and my mm-hmm. challenges would be the same the challenges would be that we want to do it and we want to do it at a certain pace okay now getting that pace is a big challenge because uh, creating a new category into automobiles this is a new category altogether creating a category mm-hmm. and getting all the players under one roof with a certain mindset of getting that pace that is going to be my challenge but i think we'll be doing it because it has been a very uh, good response so with time people's acceptance level of this whole category has been increasing but yeah that will be a big t- bit difficult for us i'm guessing uh you also spoke about new technology adoption in your processes can you elaborate on that so we are coming up with app uh, where the customer will be able to feed in all their data so it is going to be something like very handy where if you want to know when your pus is expiring you want to know when your insurance is expiring you want to know when do you need to service your vehicle everything will be available on that app then secondly you will be able to place orders for whatever service you want on the app and we will be able to confirm it and get the service done at the customer doorstep or location so that whole technology that we are building of connecting is the main thing that we are coming up with right now in fact even the technicians my dealers my companies will be able to download the app log in from there and take orders any other expansion plans which you would like to shed light on not really right now we are doing focusing on mumbai navi mumbai on and thane that is our first capture area because that's home for us that's our base so that's going to be the first thing with time within a few months i'm guessing 6 months 8 months down the line we will be targeting two other cities but for now it's mumbai now thank you ma'am thank you for your time it was really nice talking to you thank you same here nice talking to you